Hello friends and welcome to another video. Thursday and we're hitting about the afternoon and I am just grabbing the camera now. Have a very anxious Mabel. Steven came home and picked up Bubba's to take him for a grooming and she is out of sorts without Bubba's here and she will not leave the door. Do you miss your brother? Do you miss him? It's okay. makes me very nervous for her because like she like even if she goes on a walk she like looks and keeps her eye on him the whole time you're out of sorts where's Bubba's where did Bubba go where's Bubba's at he be back He's, he'll be back I promise I promise he went to get a haircut he went to get a haircut We'll do extra cuddles today. So she is a little out of sorts. I woke up this morning, did my workout, did some skincare. My skin is looking so good. Um, I'm loving it. I also found the greatest glow serum. If you love like a good glowy skin, let me show it to you real quick. Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. If you like Lumi Glotion, this is like the next level up. It is so good. But yeah, had a good workout today. And then I kind of had the wrong mindset earlier today. I was like, I snacked yesterday. I'm just like not going to eat until dinner. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, that's what you would have done previously. And that is not what we do anymore. Yeah, made just better, better choices. And this idea of just being... The lighting is so weird right now. We're like at a weird time of afternoon. Um, making good choices like that has just really been like a shift and a reinvention of how I have acted in the past. So that feels really nice. Finally turned my work phone back on and I'm all caught up, which that feels really good. And yeah. We've had a very easy peasy day. I'm gonna give us out of sorts, girly, some extra lovin's. We need some extra lovin's today. We need some extra lovin's today. Well, yes, I love you. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. A lot of questions about my journal set up for 2024, and I wanna go ahead and show you some of that because I know a lot of you ended up going with the Hobonichi. I'm going to link my favorite things. I have a favorite set of pens for the Hobonichi that I've linked below, they're called La Pen. I have like the best set linked. Also, this is a game changer. You're gonna see how I use it. And then also some of my favorite stickers I'll also link from you because I get them at like two different spots. So I'll link those for you as well. You'll see some of them in action in here. So this is the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I have the ring planners. I just love the flexibility of the desk agenda, so that's why I've chosen to use it. When you open it up, you're going to notice that I've already <laughs> changed out the paper again. Here's the deal. If you follow me on Instagram, it's like know thyself. I am a more neutral aesthetic person. So it was, and I'm sorry for the glare from the cover, and I know that I just need a more neutral paper. So I ended up having this scrapbook paper, and I'll show you the cover in a minute. However, on this side, I just have a little manifesto. If I can link some of these things, I will. There are some that I obviously can't, and then these four cards, all came from cloth and paper orders. Now, they don't sell them on their website. However, when you order something, they come free in a packet. And I've just ordered so much that I've collected like a multitude of them. So this one says grandeur, which I thought was so cute. And then these little bow tie clips are from Kate Spade. And then uh, this quote here, and then this little alphabet card. And then here, the French word for the future. But I just like love how like simple but like clean that looks and it's so me. 
And then over here, same thing. These two are from Cloth and & Paper. And then these three I just used from photos I had saved in my camera library and printed them on here, which, ugh. It's just not for photos. You can like do quotes that you see or Instagram posts that you want to save. So this is a quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald. And then the Sock Monkey sticker I just had. And I was just like, it adds some humor, which goes right with my aesthetic as well. And then I have my post from my word of the year. And then this is my favorite. I stopped waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel and lit that bitch myself. So... I just think like that's such a powerful quote. And this was from my book advent calendar. I love the idea of having the patch in there. It just adds like a different like unexpected like layer. And then these were from uh, cloth and paper free like samples that were in my orders. And I just always save them because I love the aesthetic of cloth and paper. But I could not be happier with how this turned out, and this feels really, really, really right. I haven't really filled out my monthly. I probably won't really do my monthlies until I get back to work. So I have my monthly pages, and then my first week of January is very simple because I'm still on break. So, like, there's very little on my agenda. But if you go back to my daily pages... I am going to eventually put, I've already done my vision board digitally. I'm going to print it and put it on these pages here. And then I just like reflected on New Year's and I have pictures of the Kelly Clarkson concert as well as ones from my camera roll um, from Vegas. And then I've made an entry every day. So this was my in and out post that I made on Instagram and I just printed it on my Polaroid and added a few stickers. And then Wednesday, I have like this Be Gentle one. I already did today's and I just reflected on reminding myself of like how far I've come. So I put an old photo of me and how far I've come and just knowing that I've done it before and that I can do it. And then those will be my daily journal pages, which I'm super excited about. And then in the back, I just have two more free samples from cloth and paper. But that is really how I'm going to use it. So, like, when you think about, like, my tasks, that's really where this weekly spread will take place. And then um, the daily pages will be more or less journaling or note-taking for that day. And what's great is now pictures that I capture on my camera, I can embed into my journal, which I'm really excited about. And then I will also link my habit tracker. I've not done... I'm going to fill this out today because I just got it like set up to how I like it. I just washi taped it in so I could take it out easily, but I need to um, get this in today. I need to like keep this updated. I will link these pages though because they're really great. I just like tear them out of the book and take them in. Um, but yeah, that's my setup. I really, really love it. It feels like me. I just, I'm, I'm pretty obsessed. Today has been a pretty easy day. Just kind of like going with the flow, getting a couple things done, which feels really good. And like I said, I am glad that like I really like was cognizant of my mindset around food today and was able to make the adjustment. Tonight for dinner, we're just going to do leftovers. I've cooked such big batches of chili and broccoli soup that like we need to just get through some leftovers, and then I have stuff for dinner the rest of the week. Actually, no. Tomorrow, I think Stephen has a party, a retirement party for work, and I am going out with Abby tomorrow, um, who you all love and adore from Vlogmas and from the store Breathe at Home. Her and I have set our date, um, January 5th, and we are going out tomorrow night. Um, I think we're meeting at 7, which is like a late night for me. But yeah, it's been an easy breezy day and I'm glad that I'm being more cognizant of my mindset, which once again lends itself to my word of reinvention because normally I would not have even been aware and I would have just done it instead of being like really reflective and thinking through it. But now it is time for today's diary entry. And today's entry is what are three empowering thoughts you would like to have more often. I think the first one I would say is, you are worthy now. I think I often put limits on when I am worthy for like down the road when I get to where I want to be health-wise, physically, mentally, or um, so many other aspects of life. I am worthy now. 
the way I am right now in this space, I am worthy now of happiness. I am worthy now of taking care of myself. I am worthy now of putting myself first. I am worthy now of doing the things that bring me joy and not doing the things that don't. I am worthy now. I don't have to wait for something else to change in my life to make me worthy. I'm worthy right now in this space. And I would say that to my friends. I would say that to my family. I say that to you. You are worthy now. Not five months down the road. Right now, you are worthy. I think my second one would be do not let fear stop you or stand in your way of doing something or taking that risk or postponing happiness or adventure. Like, don't let fear dictate your decision making. And I think sometimes I don't go after something that I want or I maintain the status quo or I postpone my happiness and joy out of the fear. And I think I would say to myself, do not let fear stand in your way. Do not let fear stop you from doing something you want. And then my third one, hmm, we've talked about worthiness. We've talked about fear. Speak to yourself the way you would speak to your best friend, your family, someone you met on the street. <laughs> yeah. Speak to yourself the way you would speak to others. And to be able to recognize when you're not. Those would be my, like, three empowering statements. Worthiness not letting fear stand in the way, and speaking to yourself kindly. Because you are worthy. Those would be my three empowering statements. I can't wait to see what your three are. See you tomorrow, friends. Bye bye